Good morning. It's a little after 8 a.m. I slept in a little bit. I needed it. I, I probably could go back to bed right now if Scout would let me. Scout decided to sleep on my pillow and give me like a fourth, an eighth of my pillow for my head. And currently, I only have one pillow. It's like a foam. It's like a foam, like, um, formed kind of pillow. So there's like a divot for your head. And there's like some like, I don't know. It's kind of weird. It looks like this. <laughs> but um, I love it because I felt like I was having so much neck pain sleeping on that air mattress style with that. Um, so I got it originally for that, but I still really love it. But Scout said she wanted to sleep on it last night. At some point, I just was like, okay, I can't have an eighth of my pillow. I'm going to have to evict this child. So I evicted her <laughs> to the mattress. I don't know why she wanted to go lay on my pillow. So I'm a little sleepy and kind of annoyed this morning because I didn't get the best night's sleep. Trying to, you know, have a little corner for myself over there. But I just got done feeding her breakfast, or she just got done eating breakfast, so we are headed outside for our morning walk. Y'all are gonna roast me for this one, but yesterday with Scouts, my doggie's birthday oh my gosh i just i didn't even realize you know like now that i'm not working right now like i'm unemployed it's so hard for me to keep track of actual dates except for the days that i know i have to pay bills which is actually probably yesterday i need to pay my credit card so I probably should should do that today um but dang it yesterday was scout's sixth birthday She's a six-year-old little queenie girl. And I was going to take her this weekend to um, the dog beach, but I might take her today and have a little dog day with her. I do need to apply for jobs, and I'm kind of um, I'm waiting on the recruiter. He texted me yesterday. I didn't even look at it because I was just so tired. Like, 12, 3, 30? It's taking it out on me, and I'm just trying to get into this whole new routine now that we're settled. And, um, anyway, then he texted me this morning just to make sure I got the text from yesterday because I thought yesterday had like a link in it and I was like, oh, I don't even want to open it until I get time mentally to sit down and fill out this application. But apparently I didn't get a link. It was just like a, hey, nice to talk with you. And so then he texted texting this morning from like his personal cell and I sent in my address and I thought there was a link that I was supposed to fill out an application but there wasn't a link in a text there wasn't a link in an email I didn't get a message on LinkedIn with the link so I texted them back like you know thanks nice to chat with you blah blah, blah. is there a link that I'm supposed to fill out an application so wondering about that um, and kind of want to just apply for maybe a few part-time roles because the corporate job market is kind of stale, as I mentioned yesterday. And I'll keep my eye out and I'm going to keep applying. But I think I'm going to also just start to focus on like part-time roles. And I haven't really looked at those since I moved. And I really don't know what's out there. So would love to find something cool like maybe being a cart girl at a golf course or maybe being a waitress. I'd love to even work at a coffee shop so I can perfect my latte skills. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to figure that out. But we'll, I think we'll know this afternoon about the job at the bank um, from the recruiter. So, but... I kind of also want to spend some time with Scout and take her to the doggy, um, the, the doggy beach. So maybe we'll do like an evening thing because it's hot as balls outside right now. 
So we'll do a little like drive over there at around five. So we'll get there around six. Maybe even try to get there around seven. Maybe we can watch a little beach sunset and I can get her some little doggy cookies, maybe a little doggy cake and do a little birthday celebration right there on the beach with her. I think she'll really enjoy that. Take a smoothie together. I've got Scout's food rehydrating for her. And I don't know what to eat for lunch because either I just make a smoothie um, or cook a Hello Fresh meal. I don't know really what I cook right now. I, cook it, I associate cooking with dinner. I don't know why, but I do. So, and I don't have any leftovers. So we're going to throw some oat milk in here. We're going to put our strawberries in. I don't have any more of those little mini bananas. I have the last two in my oats this morning, so we're gonna have to go get some more from the farmer's market. They're not open during the week. I think it's only Saturday and Sunday. So we're gonna try to get there early in the morning because it's hot as heck outside during the day. But since it's Scout's birthday, we're going to have to figure out some way to celebrate. It's too hot outside right now to do anything outside. But I'm pretty sure that I'm going to take her to that dog beach as long as the weather is nice. We're going to put some of this yogurt in here and then spinach. And a little maple syrup, I think, since we don't have bananas. I feel like when I don't have a banana... It just doesn't even out. It just, like, there's no sweetness to it. It's kind of all tartness, um, especially with the strawberries and the yogurt. And I need a little bit of sweetness. It's just too bland and tart. I don't, I don't know how else to describe it than that. But I figure the perfect layering to the smoothie is to put wet ingredients, then put your quote unquote like dry ingredients like anything like if you're doing vegetables or like for example fruits in the middle and then layer it with another wet kind of ingredient on top so that's what we're going to do I don't know why it's taking me 40 years to figure out the perfect layering combo for a smoothie to blend smoothly without having to unscrew the cap and all of that but we're here. We have arrived. So that's what we're doing. And I'm going to put Scout's food down for her after we get this together. I'm basically just chilling. I mean, I've applied for like several kinds of jobs. Like I applied for a lot of like customer service, like receptionists to like a spa or servers. Stuff like that is what I've been applying to this morning. I just went like rapid fire, rapid fire on Indeed and applied for a bunch of different kind of jobs like that. I'm still waiting on this application from this place. I'm gonna put a little yogurt on Scout's bowl. I haven't seen the application yet. Here's Scout's food going down. And when I asked, when I asked a recruiter this morning, like, should I just find a job on LinkedIn and apply? And he was like, oh, don't do that because if you do that, then we can't help you. And so, I mean, I, I get where he's coming from. Like, his explanation made sense that I'll just go into, like, the database kind of thing. But also, it's still making me even more leerier about this being a scam. We'll see if this job is a scam or not. I mean, he listed, like, the bank name and everything, and everything sounds legit. Um, but the fact that I can't just Indeed apply or LinkedIn apply for the job makes me a little cautious. But we'll see because he said the link should come directly from the bank or from Workday. And so that makes that gives me some reassurance that... I can check that the link came directly from them. But I didn't have to give out my social security or anything like that. I didn't have to give them my personal info. I just gave them a resume. So 
I think we're in the clear still, but I'm just waiting on this application. I haven't seen it all morning. It is now 103. And I haven't seen it yet. So I don't know. But he said he should have some news this afternoon. Um, whether they think they want to move forward with me. So that's reassuring. I'm not sure how they'll have that. I guess they'll just look at my uh, my resume. And then if they like it, they'll send me an application link. I don't know. We'll see. I have to absolutely tell you guys about this story time. This little thing that happened to me. So this morning, I'm just kind of perusing my emails because I'm looking for this job application from this bank. I'm drinking this smoothie out of Spain. And I see an, an email, and I'm not going to say I read every single line, but I skimmed. But I did read the first paragraph, and then after that, it was like, okay, weird scam. So I thought this guy was a scam. This guy basically said... He found me on LinkedIn and he thought I was really cute. So he's sorry, but he used my LinkedIn, like my email, my LinkedIn to email me from his personal email. And he's like, oh, you should come over for coffee or something. I'm like, first of all, come over, serial killer, giving killer vibes. Like, uh, excuse me, no, I'm not going over to your home. Secondly, like, what the heck? You found me on LinkedIn. You didn't send a connection request, so I don't even know who you are because when I look at your name, there's several with that name, and um, they don't even live in Florida. They live in Texas, all of them, which is so odd. Anyway, there was no link in the email or anything like that, so I don't think it was an actual scam, but it's weird because, like, send me a connection request. You know what I mean? So I know exactly which one of these you are. But so strange. I immediately screenshot that and sent it to one of my friends. And I was like, LOL, this has never happened to me before. This is so wild and funny. Um, I'm not going to reply to the email because it's strange. And the things that were said were just like, I don't know, just a little borderline creepy. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all. Yesterday I ordered a few things off of Amazon since I returned that doll car seat. It had like a credit for that. And the I returned one of the workout tops because apparently I got two of the same thing. And there's something else. Oh yeah, the gooseneck thing for the GoPro. I got that and I returned that. So I used that money to buy pillows more pillows for my bed so i'm not stuck with one and i also bought a um mattress vacuum and i felt like that would be kind of cool to see what actually comes up plus scout sleeps in my bed every night it would be nice to start to like level up my cleanliness and level up my life um there's something else i feel like i bought Oh yeah, these like silicone sticky things, you just, they're like a suction cup, you suction cup it to your like wall in your bathroom and you can mount your toothbrush or your razor. I was like, perfect, mount my razor because you know when you always lay your razor there on the edge of the tub, it creates a little bit of pink mold area and sometimes that can rust your blade out a little bit quicker. So I thought it might be nice to have that and I think it, the only options were a pack of four or a pack of six. So I might keep at least two just in case and then give the other two to my daughter because I don't need four. I'm only going to use it for my razor and maybe if I have something else in the bathroom that has like a little loop or a little something that I want to hang up. Anyway, we'll do a little haul when it comes in. This is the current state of the bathroom. We'll get into nitty gritty if you want to see. It's kind of gross. I took a sticker off of a TJ Maxx little egg container yesterday and I, I needed my blow dryer so I was doing that in here. The hairbrush is disgusting. The counter is gross. Like just a general state of like dysfunction in this bathroom. And we still haven't put our other Timu little shelf up and our under the sink organizer. So we're going to do a little bathroom refresh right now because... I can't live like this. 
and it looks like it's about to rain. I haven't done my 12 to 3.30. I was kind of going to do that this afternoon or like this evening. Um, then I was thinking I'd shower and do like my evening reset and sometime in all that. If it's not raining, take Scout to the dog beach. If not, I'm thinking, I know I keep saying I'm going to wake up early and I don't do it every single time. But maybe wake up early and get her to that dog beach because I really want to take her while it's not hot outside. It's immensely too hot to be taking my puppy there. Okay, I'm so proud of myself. Forgive the hairbrush that's out. I need to figure out where I want to put that box because this is for the shower head filter I just put up. And, oh, there's a picture of it. And I want to make sure I have this back box because I want to do an, a review video separately um, in a few weeks, like once I give it a full 30 day review. Um, but soap dispenser, I'm still looking for the matching but that works for now and it's all clean. I put that up. This trash can is way smaller than the one that I had before. So the bags are huge on there, but the bags fit the other one perfectly. But basically I cleaned the bathroom. I put all my like Amazon Target stuff away. I got these little things on Amazon, the like silicone things that you can put toothbrushes or like your razor or whatever on. So I put two of those up and I'm going to give the other two to my daughter. We got both of our little things from Timu up. We got the shower head filter on that had like 23,000 reviews and almost five stars on Amazon. So we're looking a lot better in here. But I just checked the weather. It's not about to rain. So I think I'm going to go take my dog to Fort DeSoto Park and take her to Sunset Dog Beach. I think that's what it's called. And I know I said New Health Journey, you know, 12.30.30. I was gonna even 12.30.30 this evening, but I think since it's not gonna rain, I kinda wanna go take my dog out there right now and we'll get some Chick-fil-A to celebrate her birthday and then back on the 12.30.30 and everything tomorrow. So yeah. A little break from the health journey today to celebrate my dog's birthday since I totally forgot yesterday. Please forgive me. Please don't write me a part in the comment section of this video. Um, I'm thinking maybe we'll get some treats, we'll get some ice cream, we'll do a little shindig and help her celebrate because you only turn six once in your lifetime, okay? And she's getting to be an older lady. She needs to be treated and to be in her bougie budget, budget bougie era, okay? The birthday girl. You want a little french fry? And I got her some nuggies right here that I went for those to cool down. And we are on the way to the beach. We're super, super close. You want one of your nuggies? Good job. Girl, you didn't even freaking chew that. Ma'am. Birthday dinner for the birthday girl. I love you, Scout. We have arrived. We're going to see if this little girl is a beach baby after all. Come on, babe. <laughs> She's very eager to get out of my arms. Hold on, I can't put you down yet. Ma'am, come on, let's go down to the beach. Okay. Who am I to wear sweatpants here? I just randomly was like, let's go. And I didn't dress for the occasion. I'm gonna try the water. Ooh, it's actually really clear over here. Or at least right here it's clear. What you think? What is she thinking? You like it? I think she might like it. I don't know. Do you like it? <laughs> Scout is so eager. She loves this. I think she's smelling all the smells. You love it, my little bow legged baby. What you think? Do you like it? 
Try it again. Oh my gosh, y'all. I think she's loving it. I think she's loving it. Good job. You're doing a good job. Woo! Oh no, my pants are about to get wet. Insane. Wild. It's so gorgeous out here. Standing in my clean ish kitchen. That I just did a little reset. I'm about to edit and put up. And I popped some popcorn and I opened the sparkly fizzy drink and got it in the fancy cup. And I'm about to have a little girls night in with my dog after the beach. I went to take her to ice cream and the place looked ghetto. So we did not go inside. We didn't even get out of the car. We just went straight home but yesterday I decided to get the spindrift um unsweetened lemonade this is a strawberry lemonade I don't feel like it tastes like really anything but I love that it's like a fizzy little drink there's no sugar in here it's just like supposedly carbonated water and ingredients carbonated water strawberry puree lime juice and lemon juice so we love that for you girl i love a little fizzy moment um but yeah it's gonna chill out the rest of the night thanks for chilling with us i have so many videos to edit this weekend so i'm gonna get on my game i freaking get them edited and up oh, lord i'm sorry i'm a procrastinator